Hello, and welcome to the first installment of Introspect Technologies I3C series. In this video, I will give an overview of how you can use Introspect Technologies state-of-the-art GUI and SB4E solution to communicate between an I3C master and I3C slave. On our welcome screen, you can select the product you want to connect to. In our case, we will connect to the SB4E I3C exerciser. You can now open a new test. The software is easy to use and robust. There are three main tabs that you may use. You have the params tab, log, and results. The params tab is used for adding components and developing your procedure, which can be very basic commands. In the log tab, we can see all the information in data coming from the SV4E. The log tab is good for debugging. The results tab is where all folders and CSV files generated from captures will appear. You will have a list of the results from all your runs available to you here. Let us go back to the log tab and observe the statement for connection when we connect to our SV4E. Going back to the params tab, we have a Python text editor at the bottom. We can type print welcome to introspect into the editor and it will be interpreted as a Python script that has a print command in it. The components section contains Python classes that represent the hardware and properties of the hardware. For example, the software starts with a class instantiation on master device. This belongs to a class called MIPI I3C device, and it has properties that we can see to the right. The parameters are defined in its own class, master params. These parameters define frequency and timings. By default, the software begins by declaring the master device and calling the setup method on it which assigns to the device its parameters and provisional ID. There's also a call to the I3C data capture component, which we will talk about in the next video. For now, I will comment it out. In order to add a slave device to communicate with, we can click on add and select I3C device. All the documentation for methods and attributes is displayed when we select the device. To add this I3C device, click on add component. The new device we just added is now in the components tab called I3C device one. And notice the setup method for it has been automatically added to the test procedure. For consistency, let us rename it to slave device. This automatically updates the code in the test procedure. I am now going to add to the Python script some print statements and commands to communicate from the I3C master to the I3C slave. First, I am asking the master to reset all dynamic addresses on the bus, then to assign dynamic addresses. All slave devices on the bus will consequently be assigned a dynamic address. Since in my case, my software knows about the slave device, I will ask the slave to get its dynamic address and print it to the screen. We can now click run and perform the test. We are automatically taken to the log tab where we can see the print statements. The test first reset all dynamic addresses on the bus, then assign dynamic addresses. These are master operations. It represents the SV4E performing these operations on the bus. For the purpose of this demo and with my setup, I was able to instantiate the slave and get its address, which was then printed to my screen. I can see here the slave address is 08, corresponding to the first I3C address in DAA. That concludes this video demo. We were able to show how to add an I3C device, declare it to be a slave, and receive a dynamic address from the master device. Thank you and stay tuned!